Hey everybody, and uh, welcome to another exciting installment of A Double Feature. Before I announce the winner of the Audience Choice Voting Contest we had just last week, I wanted to take a few seconds and thank everyone who participated and came over to our website, or our YouTube channel, or our various social media spots and cast your vote. We really do appreciate all the support, the support that we received, so uh, thank you so very much. We honestly... Uh, couldn't have done it without you. So again, thank you so very much for uh, for coming out and participating. Uh, just so you know, we'll be doing this again in January, since January has five weeks in it. So start thinking now about the movies you'd like to watch, and let us know in the comment section below. We're always open to new ideas uh, and suggestions. So with that being said, let's kick off this episode with a drum roll, if you will, please. Uh, this week, by popular demand, we're taking a look at Neil Berger's The Illusionist, Starring Edward Norton, Paul Giamatti, and Jessica Biel. For those of you who haven't uh, seen The Illusionist, uh, The Illusionist is a period drama film based on the short story, Eisenheim the Illusionist, written by Stephen Milhauster. Uh, the film tells the story of Eisenheim, a magician played by Edward Norton, who uses his abilities or magical talents to secure the love of a woman far above his social standing. So again, if uh, you haven't had a chance to check out this film, be sure to do so. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes classifies it at 74% or certified fresh. It, uh, it really is a must-see, so go see it. Go see it now. Wait, 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 I'm not done yet. Go see it in a couple minutes. Uh, you can also go check out The Prestige. Uh, that film was directed by Christopher Nolan, which came out uh, just two months after The Illusionist, so it came out right about the same time. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes classifies this film at uh, 76% or also certified fresh. Uh, both films explore the world of stage magicians, but do it in very different ways. So if you liked The Illusionist and are looking for another magic movie, this one is certainly worth your time. And you know what? Even if you didn't like The Illusionist, you should still check out The Prestige. as It has a very different take on the world of magicians. So definitely check out that one too if you have the time. And, and you know what? If you do get the chance to see both uh, of those films, let us know in the comments section below which one you liked better. We'd, uh, we'd just love to hear from you. And uh, if you do tell me which one you liked better, maybe I'll tell you which one I liked better too. So how about that? You tell me which one you liked better, I'll tell you which one I liked better. All right. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. But be sure to follow, uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook so you can see all the fun things we post throughout the week. All those social media links, uh, as usual, can be found in the, uh, the notes section below. Also, once you watch the movie, be sure to head over to our website so you can read what we think about the film. And as always, be sure to leave your comments in the notes section below. Uh, we would love to hear what you think of the film, so uh, let us know. Thanks again for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on Friday when we discuss the movie together. Until then, watch good movies.